So in the last video, we were talking about uh, creating dynamic drill down with a chart. So we did not get to finish the entire chart. So let's finish it off and then we can run the report and you can see how chart gets up updated as we drill down. So let's finish the chart here. So we have to drop the item. So let's say we have uh, So in the category X axis, we will have the agent. So when you draw, uh, you have to wait till it gets black. Now we had problem because uh, we have to drag from probably here. Now sometimes you have to save the report and open it again. Okay, so let's run the report now. So it's taking some time to load. Okay, so now the screen has the report has come as you see. Uh, we have our report with drill down and with the chart. So here it is showing all location 100,000, 101,900 and this is what is being uh, represented by the chart um, because there is only one record. It shows us only one column. So now let's click here. So as you see US and Canada. Now Canada is uh, zero. That's why we don't have a uh, bar here but we have USA. Now let's click on USA. So here you would see um, Northeast. So as you see, the chart is getting updated to represent the data. So because Northeast only has one cells. Uh, so now if you want to drill up or drill down, what you do is that you highlight the column and then do drill up. So Let's click on Southwest. So Southwest has two. Uh, so if you want to drill up, so if you can go, if you want to drill up more, then you do highlight and then drill up. So that's pretty much about the drill down report. Now there is something also called drill through report. Uh, that's something we uh, let's discuss now. Now drill through reports are, as the name suggests, uh, is where you click on an item and you open another report. So where two reports are linked. So in this is called drill down where you are just having one report and you are navigating through a uh, report by clicking one after another. Whereas in drill through report where you click on something and it opens another report. So in the drill through reports, we define two reports separately and then connect them through a parameter. Um, so typically these are used for uh, master child reports. Uh, maybe that's something we can uh, discuss in our next video. Uh, so let's discuss uh, some more items about the maybe the chart creation. So let's let me open a query studio and then let's discuss some more items about the chart. So I wanted to show some few items of uh, the charts. So one thing here, let's say we have a data table on top and here we have a chart. So if you want to drag, um, so if you look at the chart carefully, it has three things, a measure default y-axis, an x-axis and a series. Now in case your chart is not of series type, then probably you just need to populate this and this. Now x-axis is typically would have your uh, attribute and y-axis would have your um, the number column or the measure. So for example, uh, if you are plotting um, uh, agents and sales data per agent, then agent would be on the x-axis and your 
uh, sales data would be which is a measure which would be on y-axis now here so what you do is that you drag the columns from here and then you drop it here and then wait till it starts blinking with black uh, background or black on that so once the you let go the mouse you'll see the the column name appear here now few other things what you can do is that you can change the title name so by here is the access title and then you click here and then you get the properties uh, populated now if it shows if you want to change the title what you have to do is that it shows default title yes so change it to first no and it will allow you to change the title name so as you see here it the text changes where it says double click to edit the text so double click and say you can say X or this is an agent so let's say agent name and the same thing goes for um, the y-axis also so you just say default title no and then you say you can say sales dollar you can also have a different type of chart so if you want to change the type of chart you can just click this one and then to right click or you can just double click and wait for the so there is uh, some option called convert chart so here if you see that I right click and then you see convert chart so if you click on convert chart um, I think I got a few extra clicks but anyway so then you once you click convert chart you get this option and then you can choose different options so let's see if I want to convert to a maybe a 3d chart uh, or no, maybe a three-dimensional chart um, and I can select this So we have got uh, 3D charts uh, and if you run it then you will see so it's taking some time to uh, load the report. So here you see the report has come up and what you see, can see the the dollar values or the column aliases has changed uh, and you can see the 3D effect of uh, the, the the columns. Uh, so that's about it and there are a few more uh, controls which you can uh, use in the chart so but you know that's pretty self-explanatory if you uh, uh, if you if you create a chart using Cognos and it's it's fairly easy process so, so apart from that uh, <coughs> there are some more tools or some more uh, features which are there in the report studio which uh, you can easily uh, understand so if you click on here which is insertable object so here there's calculated member calculated measure so calculated meaning you calculate some columns within the uh, report based on maybe other columns in our particular case uh, we used uh, query calculations for sales commission um, then there are several other features like image, cross tab space, etc., etc., which uh, you know, try it out. Uh, it's a fairly straightforward process. You can put put a hyperlink. Uh, you can create also a date control, meaning when you click on it, you can it will pop up a calendar and you can select a particular date and all those things. Um, so I hope you got a good uh, idea about the Report Studio. So in the future, in the next few videos, we'll probably discuss uh, one or two more advanced topics. Thank you.